Okay, Middlesex. Well, thank you uh, very much, Speaker, and it is an honour to stand here today and respond uh, to the Minister's uh, statement. Many of us here have heard a good deal of debate uh, on this specific piece of legislation already. The Ontario Immigration Act was debated, as the Minister said, as Bill 161, 161 through February, March and April of this year. Now, as I understand it, not many changes uh, have been made to the bill, but there were a couple uh, of changes. The basic intention is still to increase the proportion of economic class immigrants to the province to deter immigration fraud and to allow new Canadians to practice in their chosen professions whenever possible. Ontario has always taken pride in its diversity, in not only welcoming immigrants but in being the first choice for new Canadians. They enriched our culture and brought pros prosperity because we provided them with opportunity. But sadly, when we talk about this sy symbiotic relationship, it's starting to sound a bit like we're talking about the good old days rather than about our presence. Ontario doesn't offer the same kind of opportunities that it once did, and people just aren't choosing to make Ontario their new home as often as they did in the past. As economic development critic, I stood in this House month after month to talk about how Ontario's unemployment numbers were below the national average, which they were for 93 consecutive months. As a new critic for citizenship, immigration and international trade, I have a new set of statistics to study, but they really reflect the same trend. This is data that has been brought to the government's attention before, but it bears repeating. Ontario has the lowest percentage of economic immigration in Canada in 2013, about 46%. That's over 20% lower than the national average. Overall, Ontario has about 20% fewer new Canadians choosing to live here than it did only 10 years ago. And you can't blame new Canadians for choosing to head west these days, because their average weekly wages are lower here in Ontario, and our unemployment rate for very recent immigrants is the second highest in all of Canada. It's obviously a good idea to try to increase economic immigration, but it seems to me that many of the challenges we face here are symptoms of a poor economy. And I'd like to see the government address not only the symptoms, but the root cause as well. On top of our obvious economic challenges, we have an aging population and a declining birth rate, as well as significant numbers of young people leaving Ontario to head west. So our future is very much tied to new Canadians and uh, the ability to attract uh, new Canadians. If we want people to come here and to stay in Ontario, to start families and to put down roots, we need to give them a good reason. We need to start turning things around and making it possible for people to envision a bright future for themselves and their families here in Ontario. We need to focus not only on attracting new Canadians, but also on retaining these hard-working and talented people. We can bring people to Ontario, but doesn't guarantee they'll stay if better opportunities exist in other provinces. If we want spots allocated to fit the province's economic needs, then we need to show that provincial nominee program applicants stay here. The federal government won't allocate more spaces if we're not using what we already have. There are many aspirational elements to this bill that are subject to federal approval, like selection programs and target levels. Negotiation and communication with the federal government has presented some challenges for this particular government in the past, which causes me some concern about how productive discussions will be and if measures in this bill will be able to move forward in a timely way. So it remains to be seen what this Act will be able to do in practice if it does receive approval from this House. We also have new federal legislation coming into effect, or it has come into effect, which will obviously change uh, some of the context here. But I do want to conclude by applauding the government for introducing legislation because it's clear that there are specific problems that need to be addressed and uh, in this bill uh, some of those issues uh, will be addressed as I mentioned uh, in the beginning. So I look forward to studying and debating this bill to find out if uh, it has the solutions that Ontario's immigration system needs. Thanks. Thank you.